Hi guys, it's Dee from Saturday Designs. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a review of a photo paper... What? Photo paper maker. <laughs> I was going to say. It is a picture printer. A photo printer. Oh my God, help me. It's a photo printer. If you've been watching, you know that I wanted to get into scrapbooking. And I got all the supplies, but I was saving money because my printer prints out pictures, but it uses up a lot of ink and it's very expensive. It costs a lot of money towards if you keep printing pictures. So I wanted to get a printer that just does photos only. I was looking for one that you didn't need ink with. I was saving some money. A lot of people told me about different ones that they use. I wanted something with a smaller footprint just to check it out, to try it out. I did find one finally, um, and I have been playing with it. It came the other day. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's a little bit, uh, um, a little bit smaller than I had anticipated. You'll see. Anyway, I picked up. The Kodak Step. As you can tell by the box, it's a very little. Kodak Step. Instant Mobile Photo Printer. Um, handy for... Sulfur... Oh, I don't know if that's even English. Imprint photo... Anyway, it prints photos. You can use it with Apple or Google. Made for iPhone, iPad, iPod. I have all those. So anyway, that's that. Here it is here. I'm having it char it's charging. Actually, I can probably undo it right now. Here it is here. It fits in the palm of your hand. It can actually fit in your pocket, they say. It came in this thing in here. It came very well packaged. It comes with a USB charger. Which I was just charging. It's small, but I was using my cube. So it comes with that. You can use it while it's being charged, which I like. Now, the one I got, it was a whole kit. And let me look it up online so I can show you the one I got, which I'm a little disappointed in now because I found it online cheaper now. Kodak Step Printer. And it came with all this stuff. Except I didn't get these little stickers. I got a double of something. Oh, so. So you can get just the printer itself for $69. I got the package. My, I paid $150 for it. $149. You can now get it for $129. It says it comes with all these stickers and all this stuff. I didn't get all that stuff with it. I feel a little ripped off. I feel a little violated. I have to say. Anyway, I'll show you what I got. It comes with this. It came with four pack of papers, little pack of papers, and then it comes with the 20 sheets. I ended up buying an additional 50, which I'm almost through already. There are 10 in a pack. Each of these are 10. So I already used 34 pictures because I did the four that it came with, four or five. Um, okay, it came with these. One, two, three, four, five. These are little sticker photo frames, like they're stickers, but you can put your... See, it's got like a little frame you can put around the picture. I don't think I'll use that. I'd probably use that in the crafting world, but probably not for that, for pictures. Came with these markers. They're water markers, water-based markers. I don't know. 
it's got a fat nib it's a chiseled nib on one end and a thin nib on that end um They're water base. I guess they you could draw on your pictures. I don't know that I would, but it comes with markers. Cool. I ended up getting two of these. It came with two of these. So I think somebody in packaging messed up. These are little pouches that you could put in, different colors. Comes with a little clothesline. And these are. Magnetic little clothes. How cute are these little clothespins? So you can like hang it up in a little picture. This would probably be more for somebody like, um, you know, a kid in her room or, you know, a girl or a boy hanging pictures up in their room or whatever. I mean, I guess adults could use it too. I would probably use that for another crafty item. It also came with this pouch. I didn't get to pick the color. I don't get why it's got the holes here. You flip it around. It's got two pockets in here. This fits nicely. In the one pocket, you could put your things in it behind it to go along with your, your charger. Put this back around. It's got this little thing you can carry it with, and you're good to go. Put it in your purse, whatever. Good to go. So, that's that. Alrighty. Oh, it also came with a little book, a little photo album. This side has pictures in it already, which I'll show you in a second. That's that. So, when you get it, you have to charge it up. You have to put the paper in it. To put the paper in it, you'll see a little arrow here. See a little arrow. You push it gently. It took me forever to figure it out. There's no instructions on how to open it. I had to get on a YouTube video. You push it gently. You have your pictures go in, glossy side up. I probably should not have done that. It comes with this little blue Every pack comes with a little blue card that you put in to calibrate. They tell you not to lose that card, this card, for whatever reason. I don't know. Put it in. Put it back together. Okay. We're good to go. You download the app. Which I've done so here. Oops. And then you have to, it asks you if you can, if it can look at your pictures. You say yes or no. I said yes. So it's going, this is all my photo gallery. Pictures, 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 pictures. You guys don't need to see my personal business. Some stuff you can see. I mean, not that I have anything. It's just for people's privacy reasons. There's New Year's cat. This was uh, Grim. New Year's. So maybe we'll do that. We'll do a picture of Grim. So you grab your picture that you want. Alright, we're going to do this. Sorry about the ring light. I don't know where to put it. You take the picture. You can edit it. You can put all kinds of filters on it. Change it however you like. We're just going to leave this one with no filter for now. You can add a frame. They have multitudes of frames you can put on. You can move it around to where you want to place it. Oh, we could do that one in 2024 because it was 2024. Happy New Year, 2024. Try to find one that looks good with the background. That's cute. Then 
All right, we're gonna hit the little check mark to save it. Then you can put like hearts or happy new year. You can put words in there. You can put change the date. Cheers, you can do more stars. You can also click on it if you don't like it to take it off. I might just put that there. You can turn it. You can make it smaller. Mind you, with fingernails, it's very difficult to do. All right, leave that there. Can you see it? Check mark to save it. We're done with that. You can also do, what else can you do in here? Temperature, you can make it warmer looking or cooler looking. So you can adjust it how you want. Brightness, you can make it brighter or darker. I did like the temperature a little warmer, so we'll do that. Um, this is adjust, so you can make it flip that way. Upside down, 90 degrees. But we're good there. I'm not going to make any adjustments there. And then we're done with that one. You can do a print, a pre-cut stickers. So you can put another one here and then you can just have a bunch of stickers going out. Oh, apparently you have to have photo paper for that, which I don't have. You can do a collage. So you can do a couple. Again, for privacy reasons, I'm not going to show you all my pictures. And then we can just hit print. But to do print, we're going to turn this on. Push and hold it. It has to be Bluetooth connected, which I believe this is. Let me make sure. I'd ask you if it'll allow it. Yes, I'm allowing it. So it automatically try to grab it and connect it. We are on. That's where you charge it at. All right. That's where it comes out of. We're going to hit print. You can do multiple copies. We only need one. You can also adjust the color from here, which I like this a lot. I like to play with my colors. I like it to be warmer than cooler. Like vibrant. Save. All right. I'm okay with that. We're going to hit print. You're going to hear. It make noise, hopefully. It's going to shoot out that blue card first. Can you hear it? It's calibrating. It'll probably take the card back in again. I don't know why you have to do it every time you put film in it. You can only do 10 sheets at a time. I don't like that either. So there are the two downsides. It does two by three photos only, which is fine, I figured, for a scrap book. Say this little calibration paper. Now the picture's going to come out. This only happens the first time you do a pack. Now we don't need that blue card, so here comes our picture. The color seems to get better as you let it sit, I've noticed also. So it'll come out a little off, and then as it sits, it's warm coming out, not hot, but warm. As it sits, it comes out a little better. And that's our picture. Look how tiny and cute. So, these, here's another picture. And then, <clears throat> here's a little photo album. That's me and my husband now, actually. We got married on Valentine's Day. Um, and Sarah, you know Sarah. She's Sarah Designs. So that's us at Christmas. Uh, I don't want to show you people that might not want to be seen. There's Taco. And a little album. There's Sarah at Christmas. So see, I did a little frame around this one. I did a frame around this one. It's me and Taco. That's 
Taco, Sarah, and Hunter. Um, Sarah and I with no filters. Me and Will being goofy. So here's a frame I did. Here's the day we got married. We just did a ceremony here at the house. So I made that one up for us. And then here is us. And then I put the words in there. The love was already there. And I just did I and the love and the you. And that's it. So I think this will be good for scrapbooking. Oh, these are stickers, by the way. I haven't taken them off, but I haven't tried it yet. I believe they're stickers. Are they not stickers? They might not be stickers. A couple of them are stickers. This is not a sticker. I thought they were stickers. Maybe the first batch that they originally gave me was stickers. But this is just regular photo paper. But anyway. They're little. I like it so far. It's not doing the big ones. But I could put a bunch of... Pictures on a page, I'm thinking. You know, do a different layout like that or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to play with it. We'll see. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would I give this? I would probably give it, for what it does, it does what it says it does. So, that's an absolute 10. Um, for what I want it to do... The 10, I did know that it was smaller pictures. Um, I, I like this, actually. The only thing I don't like about it is they said that I was getting a bunch of stickers, which I was looking forward to, and I didn't get it. I got two of these instead. Here's what it is. I'm a crafter. I'm a paper crafter. I have so many stickers anyway, but that was a little disappointing. Um, I don't like the fact that the price is now lower than it was when I got it, so I might contact them and say, hey, what the F kind of deal. But... Overall, I like it. Um, is it worth the money? Yes, I do think so. It's going to do what I want it to do. Yes. So, I am very happy with it. Oh, it also comes with a join the Kodak Plus community, which I won't do, but you can. Feel free. And then this, what is this thing? Quick start guide. Oh, I probably should have read that. I went off YouTube. It has it in different languages, I believe, as well. So, anyway, that's it, guys. That, I finally got it. So, now I'm going to start doing some um, scrapbooking, and we'll see how that turns out. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure you do so. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video, which I believe is going to be a Timu haul. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Real quick add-in, guys. These are stickers. It does say waterproof sticky back photos with no ink or cartridges needed. I forgot to tell you that. This does not require ink. I don't know how it works, but it does. And they are sticky. They're stickers. I thought they were. So. All right. That's it. Hi guys, it's Steve with another video. Today we are going to go to the zoo. No, we're not. <laughs>